Hey everyone, welcome to Zainal's Neat PG and NSA 2022 information series. Uh, in the part one of this video, we looked at uh, how a roster is prepared to implement the central government's reservation policy, uh, which is at uh, uh, UR 40.5 percentage, OBC 27 percentage, uh, EWS 10 percentage, SCA 15 percentage, and ST 7.5 percentage. Uh, now, in this video, uh, uh, we will look at roster implementation. We actually had a look at uh, the roster points that were defined. If you have not gone through this video, I would suggest you to go through this video, the other video, uh, the part one, which will give you a clear idea of how roster is prepared for implementing this reservation percentages. Now, uh, if you have not gone this through that video, that is fine. All you need to understand is that there exists a roster with roster points one onwards till 200, basically. So you see over here. And against each roster point, there is a category that is mentioned. So if it is a first roster point, it belongs to UR category. And the second roster point is against UR category. And similarly, the fourth is against OBC and so on till as we move forward 20 and the SC, etc. So this is what you need to have an understanding on uh, what this, what happens is at the end of this is, you can consider it as seats. Basically, the first seat is entitled for you. Uh, UR is entitled for the first seat, uh, OBC for the fourth seat and so on. Uh, at the end of 200 seats, all you need to understand is that OBC would have 20 percentage, SC would have 15 percentage of 200 seats, uh, ST would have 15 7.5 uh, percentage, and EWS would have 10 percentage of 200 seats, and so on. The rest for UR. So this is how the roster point works. We'll just quickly look at the methods that are used. Uh, method one would be part of this video, part two, and method two would be part of the part three video. See, method one is followed by MCC in its counseling. This is where seats, this is a method where seats are earmarked into specific categories. Basically, you have a seat matrix which mentions in this institute, in this uh, course, there are X seats under UR, four seats under SC, three seats under EWS, etc., which is clearly mentioned against each seat. And then each candidate is allotted as per the rank. The first ranker is allotted first if a seat is available, and the second ranker is allotted next if a seat is available, and so on. We'll have a look at this in detail. So uh, with an example of ABC Institute of Medical Sciences again, which has, let's say, five MD pediatric seats, which uh, they've got permitted. They had got permitted from the year 2020. 2020 is the first year they got permitted. And they are going to implement a roster for this set of seats. Let's say the uh, counseling happens only for this set of seats for MD pediatrics. This is the only set of seats for which the admission is going to happen. And there are many candidates who are already part of the merit list who are going to, uh, who have applied for this set of seats. Year one, you have to implement reservation for ABC Institute of Medical Sciences. You already have your 200 point roster. We have taken uh, only the first 25 points of the roster for uh, example here. The, uh, you know that the first five points are over here. You have five seats. So the first thing that you do is allocate the first seat against the first roster point. So what is the first roster point? The first roster point is for an UR candidate. So basically you are seat and therefore you allocate the first seat under UR category. The first seat will be an UR seat. The second seat is also an UR seat. The third seat is also an UR seat and the fourth seat is an OBC seat. The second seat of year one is an UR seat. The second seat, a third seat is a UR seat and the fourth one is an OBC and the fifth one, as you can see, is an UR seat. Now, this is how the seats are categorized for year one. When we say categories, it is simple in the seat matrix. This is how the seats will appear. For ABC, IMS, MD, Pediatrics, in the seat matrix, you will have four UR seats and one OBC seat. The order doesn't matter once it is categorized. You will have four UR seats and one OBC seat. This is the information you will get. Like in MCC, you have a seat matrix which mentions how many UR, how many UWs, etc. This institute will have four UR and one OBC seat. There will be a lot of concerns like uh, I there is no SC seat available, ST seat available, not even one EW seat available. The roster works that way. In the next five seats, uh, when they when they are allotted next in the next year, you may be able to get a seat under your category. But as of now, the, for the first four years, uh, first year you will have only UR seats four under and OBC seats one if it is five seats. Now, what what are we getting into next? We would like to know we would like to know how these seats are allotted, right? So we look at it on a candidate rank by rank basis. Let us say the first candidate who is common is an UR candidate. The category of the candidate is UR. How many seats are there in the seat matrix? We already saw the seat matrix, four UR seats and one OBC seat. Uh, all only, we are taking only pediatric seats in ABC IMS. Those are the only seats available. First candidate comes in, he opts for, he or she opts for a seat and the candidate is allotted an UR seat. Basically, when UR seats are available, 
UR seats will be allotted to any candidate. So UR seat is allotted to the candidate. There are three UR seats and one OBC seat still left out of this particular set, which was there with the seat matrix. So what is the starting uh, seat matrix for the second uh, candidate? When the second candidate's allotment is processed, the, he or she will have UR3 and OBC1 seat. The, let the candidate's category be OBC. Now let's say the candidate opts for a seat. Which category does the candidate, should the candidate be allotted under? The candidate is eligible for OBC as well as UR seats. An UR candidate is eligible only for UR seats, but an OBC candidate is eligible for both OBC and UR seats. In this scenario, the candidate would be allotted an UR seat and the number of UR seats reduces by one and we move on to the next candidate. Now, an OBC candidate has been allotted an UR seat. The next candidate is an SC candidate. Let's say the, uh, the number of seats available are UR2 and OBC1. The candidate's rank is three and therefore we move on to three. What seat would be allotted? Like we mentioned earlier, when an, the SC candidate is eligible for UR seats, there are no SC seats, but the SC candidate is eligible for UR seats anyways. And anyways, UR seats are going to be allotted when available. So UR seats is allotted to the SC candidate and the number reduces by one. Available balance seats, the balance seats reduces by one. Now you have one UR and one OBC seat. Candidate rank four comes in. Let's say the candidate is an UR candidate, but does not opt for a seat. Straightforward, no seat is uh, reduced. We move on to candidate number five. Again, an UR candidate, the candidate opts for a seat. One UR seat is available. Therefore, the candidate can opt for the seat. The candidate is allotted an UR category seat and there is only one OBC seat left out. Now the next two candidates are UR and EWS candidates. So both of them the, do not have a seat. Let's say candidate six comes in. Is there an UR seat available? No UR seat is available. No allotment. OBC one remains. EWS candidates comes in. No seat is available. One OBC seat remains. Uh, the next candidate is again an OBC candidate. The candidate does not opt for a seat. Even in this scenario, no seat. Now we move on to candidate number nine, rank number nine. The candidate is an OBC candidate. Is a, a seat available for the candidate? Yes, an OBC seat is available. And if you, since he opts for a seat, the OBC seat is allotted to the candidate and therefore we end up with no seats. And beyond this, there will be no seats available for the candidates. This is how rostering works. Here we have taken an example wherein you have roster points one to four and therefore four UR seats and one OBC seat. And you can see, see that as far as the first four allotments go, irrespective of the candidate category, when a UR seat is available, you would allot an UR seat. And post that, when only category seats are available, they will be available only for those category candidates if they opt for the seat. So that is how MCC's allotment works. You have a clear seat matrix, which is which uh, a clear seat matrix, which is available. And in this seat matrix, uh, based on the seat matrix, by rank, candidates 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are allotted. Now we, what happens after the first year is the question. Basically, that is when the roster, uh, the basic uh, 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 need for the roster comes in picture because uh, in the first year, you can see that only UR and OBC seats are there, but reservation has to be implemented through a 20, 200 point roster. So the next year, let's say there are again five seats. It is a pretty simple process. You stop the roster last year at uh, rank five. So you move on to roster point uh, six. The first seat would be an UR seat at roster point six. As you can see here, the first seat is an UR seat at roster point six. So you start from six and allow, and the second seat in the second year. So year two, seat two would be an SC seat, which is roster point seven. Roster point eight is OBC, roster point nine is UR and roster point 10 is EWS. So in the second year, the seats that are available the five seats that are available in ABC Institute MD Pediatrics for 2021 in the seat matrix would be basically based on this roster points from six to 10, UR two seats, OBC one seat, SC one seat, uh, uh, one seat and EWS one seat. UR you have one and two seats here, SC one, OBC one and EWS. So this is how the roster point and then the allocation happens in the second year based on the rank order. See, now if we move on to the third year. What does the roster point end, ended at 10 here? So you have, the roster to be started from 11 for year three. So seat one would be an UR seat to OBC, UR, ST and SC. 10 to 15 is where the next five seats have to be uh, uh, five seat entitlement is. So you have this set of seats all, uh, allotted for uh, basically categorized under uh, UR, OBC, UR, ST, SC. So this year you have UR two seats, OBC one seat, SC one seat and ST one seat. Note that an ST entitlement has come in at the 15th point. Uh, at the 14th point where they're entitled for one seat. And this year you will have, uh, you will not have an EWS entitlement till the next year. 
So this is how the roster works. Let us say there is a scenario where the, the, until 15 it has been completed and this is this was a seat matrix for round one. Now we move on to round two and there is a 16th seat which comes in place. Where is it? Uh, another pediatric seat gets added during round two of 2022. What do you do? You again go to the 16th roster point, which is where it is supposed to start because for, till 15 it was completed. It is an OBC seat. So what do you do? Add one OBC seat over here in round two. So that is what you do. So when the 16 point is OBC, so add an OBC seat. So if any seat gets added during the rounds two, you just follow the roster, stop it there, wherever uh, the admissions are over for this year and then start from the next year. Automatically, the reservation percentages would be accommodated as per the roster. So this is how we follow the roster as far as method one is concerned by MC, uh, is followed by MCC. We will look at the method two in the next video in part three. Uh, have a look at that video and then you will be able to understand how initial rostering works, which is what most uh, of the queries have been on. So we had a look at uh, the entire roster and how it works. We'll move on to the next video too. Before that, one point to add uh, over here. Uh, see, MCC, uh, we, we have taken an example of a 200-point roster which is used for central government appointments and uh, admissions. MCC basically follows a 3,200-point roster and uh, this has been possibly created around, around uh, uh, a few years back and this was uh, notified. And uh, similar, it is just simple, it is similar to this 25 points, there are 3,200 points. And at the end of 3,200 points, all the reservations are accommodated including PH uh, candidates reservation and any other reservation that uh, exists. So uh, that is something that you like to note. Uh, you don't need to worry about the MCC in the reservation roster at all. You would anyways be allotted on a, uh, on a rank basis and the seats would, seat matrix would clearly tell you which seats belong to which category. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and uh, we have our portal designer where you have complete information on seat allocation, um, uh, allotments, fee stipend, and bond details for 80-85% uh, plus institutes. And then you also have uh, all announcements and events at one place. Uh, have a look at the portal and uh, the Telegram group and FB group links are available in the description. Please join us uh, if you wish to. If you, uh, please share these uh, information series with others if you think it will be helpful for them. Again, thank you for watching.